Aisha radiyallahu anha. One day the wife of Abu Ayyub Ansari comes home. Now, you know, sometimes women, with utmost respect, just for the, to initiate a discussion, we tend to gossip. Maybe not wittingly, unwittingly, but we realize not the implications. So look at, look at the, 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 the spirit of a believer. How he should, be def how he should defend the honor of a sister. Abu Ayyub Ansari radiallahu's wife comes home and she says, uh, Abu Ayyub, have you heard what people are saying about Aisha radiallahu anha wa arda? Have you heard these rumors that have been circulated, these accusations? And the Quran responded, لَوْلَا سَمِعْتُمُوهُ لَوْلَا إِذَا سَمِعْتُمُوهُ ظَنَّ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتُ بِأَنفُسِهِمْ خَيْرًا لَوْلَا إِذَا سَمِعْتُمُوهُ ظَنَّ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتُ بِأَنفُسِهِمْ خَيْرًا وَقَالُوا هَذَا إِفْكُمْ مُبِينٌ That a believer is he in whose presence when his sister is tarnished or stigmatized, then he stands up and he says, that's a blatant lie. How dare you open your mouth against my sister? That's the honor Allah has given to our sisters. Abu Ayyub Ansari tells his wife, he says, you are my wife. Will you ever do an act like this, a despicable act of immorality? She answers in the negative. She says, I will never perpetrate such a crime. So he tells her, you are my partner. You are my wife, the wife of Abu Ayyub Ansari. And you will never perpetrate a crime like this. Aisha, who is the wife of the master of both the world, will she ever commit a crime like this? I don't need to investigate this from the very face I can understand it. It's a white lie. The Prophet ﷺ says he will accuse someone. He will usurp the rights of someone. He will hit someone. Sayyidina Umar had an argument with the disbeliever regarding the superiority of Musa and the Prophet ﷺ. And in the process, Umar was provoked. Umar slapped that man. That man came running to the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ said, Amma anta ya Umar. Umar, you have slept him, now he has to slap you or you have to please him. But justice must prevail. Justice must prevail. So I'm just briefly running to these complaints that will be lodged against him. People will say, oh Allah, he owes me money. Oh Allah, he accused me. Oh Allah, he insulted me. All these people will line up before Allah. سَفَكَ دَمَ هَذَا أَكَلَ مَالَ فَيُعْطَى هَذَا مِنْ حَسَنَاتِهِ وَهَذَا مِنْ حَسَنَاتِهِ Allah Ta'ala will then say, you can enjoy his charity. You can enjoy his fasting. Imagine you come home with your check for which you work hard, you sweat, and you come with your bonus check. You come with your bonus check, and then somebody just takes your wealth and he starts distributing it. Your hard-earned sweat money, you know what it takes. You know how possessive you are over your money. وَإِنَّهُ لِحُبِّ الْخَيْرِ لَشَدِيدِ The Quran says, you won't dare want anyone to touch it. You want to work out and spend your money. Allah will say, you have his salah, you have his zakat, you have his fasting. A time will come, and this is the area of bankruptcy and a pauper. The Prophet ﷺ says, فَإِنْ فَنِيَتْ حَسَنَاتُهُ فَإِنْ فَنِيَتْ حَسَنَاتُهُ A time will come where all his good deeds will be exhausted. Everything will be exhausted, yet people will be demanding. Allah will then say, the only way I can satisfy your demands is, that أُخِذَ مِنْ خَطَايَاهُمْ فَتُرِحَتْ عَلَيْهِ We will lighten your sins and your burden and he will carry your sins. So first all his good will be distributed. Can you imagine how expensive it is? When you're traveling abroad or anywhere, you prefer buying a bottle of water before getting to the airport because at the airport you'll pay five dollars more. Rather settle it in this world, my brother, as the Prophet ﷺ said, that if you're owing anyone, call him here and settle it. Otherwise there, the currency will be your good actions and it will be taken. A time will come, nothing will remain. Then the sins of others will be thrown on you. And this person will be thrown headlong in the fire of hell. May Allah Ta'ala save us from that and grant us the tawfiq and the understanding that we reflect, we ponder and we make this the turning point. Whatever due is owed to anyone, let us use this opportunity to go and settle that due to that person. If we've offended anyone, if we've insulted anyone, يُجَاءُ بِبْنِ آدَمَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ كَأَنَّهُ بَذَجْ The riwayat of Bukhari. Man will appear before Allah like a lamb. How a lamb appears before Allah. He will be standing before Allah in that condition. 
So rest assured, we don't need things to jeopardize our entry into Jannah. We need things to make it easy for us. There was much more for me to speak, but my time has left. But I hope in this short time, I have left you with some food for thought and that we become conscious about this bankruptcy and we become conscious about the true definition of poverty and shift focus from the material poverty and penury to that which is the ultimate poverty. May Allah save us and bless us with true wealth in this world, true wealth in Akhirah. Save us from physical poverty and from spiritual poverty. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.